Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for it being so long from the last video I posted. Uh, just, you know, life and birthday parties and then, you know, family getting sick, um, things like that, and just, you know, gotten busy. I hadn't really done nothing to the truck. I've done a little bit, not a much. So, but uh, I do apologize for it being so long of a wait for this next video uh so but in this video we're going to be getting this truck ready for the grand national f100 show uh which is i leave in the morning for it and um so but uh i want to give you guys an update on this truck and then uh i'll talk about um what i'm planning on doing uh to get it ready for the show i'm gonna do a couple little things just add a little things that i haven't put in it yet but uh but anyways so I'll let you guys see it. This is it now. I've got the wheels painted. Painted the wheels. I painted the front bumper. Front bumper is painted. As you can see, I got my sander out. We're gonna do a little bit of sanding and stuff like that on the hood. I've, all the wheels are cleanly painted. The truck's dirty. I have been putting a lot of miles on this truck. Uh, I've been driving it a lot. The rear bumper is mounted. I think the last video I was working on getting the rear bumper done. The rear bumper is done and mounted. Uh, I got the tag lights are hooked up and working. Um, stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, that's... I'm really happy with how the wheels turned out. They look great. Nothing much changed on the inside. Uh, other than driving it. I've been driving it a lot. Uh, I did make a uh, temporary bed floor for the back of the truck just out of wood so I can actually use it as a truck since I've been driving a lot but um, this is actually hinged it'll lift up stuff so I can get down to the frame if I need to but uh, uh yeah I've been driving it and I think I've put about since it's been on the road I'm gonna say I've probably put about 5,000 miles on this and um but it's been running great uh only issues I've had is the instrument cluster I've been having trouble with this instrument cluster. Uh, as you've seen in previous videos, it likes to shut on and off. Um, so I sent it off and had it um, rebuilt, got it back, and 20 minutes after after, after that, it um, it shut off again while driving. And so I messaged the guy, and he said he'd look at it again. I sent it back, and he did some more repairs to it and brought it back. And it's still shutting off not as much and off not for as long but it's still on and off so i guess i'm just gonna start saving up some money and try to uh i guess get one of the uh um did the dakota digital clusters they finally make them for the 65 and 66 custom cab trucks uh and they come with an obd2 interface now they actually all offer that now so i'll be able to use it and plug it into the obd2 port of this and run the cluster everything but the fuel gauge i think and it won't show oil pressure because this year crown vic doesn't use um an oil sensor that does psi it only has like a low level low psi warning and that's it so i'd have to change that out maybe but other than that that's what i'd like like to go go with but what i plan on doing to get this ready for the show these used to be full of Bondo right here on both sides, all the way across. Something had fallen across the hood, so I knocked all the Bondo out. We got all the Bondo out of it. And then if you look, the metal from being creased in right here after I'd worked it out some. It's ain't perfect, but it's way better than what it was. I'm going to weld these up, weld that one up. I may do some more hammer and dolly work and uh just prime this stuff up for now and then when i get back from the show i'll, I'll do all the body work is filling it in and uh and then i want to get uh the rest of this bed sanded down in these areas and try to get them done in some of that uh just just a, just a quick spray liner and stuff just to make it look decent for the trip um and then i want to add i did not i got them they're brand new i've never put them in the armrests that go 
right here. I got the handles and stuff that go right there. I haven't put those in yet, so I've got them. So, and I got to fix something in this door. Um, my rod for the lock come loose, and I can't lock this door. So I'm gonna fix that. I gotta get the access panel off and fix that. So sun's already going down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to finish sanding this up. Get my welder out. We'll tack weld that stuff up. Grind, grind them down, and we'll hit them with some primer. And then uh, we'll get to sanding on the bed and try to get that done before it's too, too late. That way it can be dry by the time I got to leave in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, as you can tell, it's the next day. Uh, it got kind of dark on me last night, but I did get as much as I wanted to fixed right then. Um, I might have to button up one thing before we go, but uh, let me go ahead and show you what I got done. All right, as you can see, I just kind of lipstick on a pig kind of but hey it makes it look a little bit better back here it's just for the show uh i got my door the armrester installed both doors looking pretty good and i got these spots welded up just filled in real quick with some filler nothing it i mean it ain't perfect it's gonna have to be worked over and over and over again it's just just to keep the bare metal covered and uh but we'll probably stop rinse this thing off there's macy she's eating pizza for breakfast that's my child right there and uh but yeah we'll uh like i said you can see we got some of our luggage ready i'll grab some chairs we got our camera gear and uh but yeah we're ready to go and uh we'll see you once we're on the road all right, so we're, uh, we're about an hour. We're almost in Chattanooga right now, so uh, I'm waiting on a couple other guys to show up. They're trailering theirs in, and I'm going to follow them in. So I'm going to try to get some more recording for you guys uh, on the way in. Uh, well, I, I told them I'd just follow them. I'd take whatever route they, they wanted to take to get to Pigeon Forge. And, uh, yeah, so we're waiting on them. They're about 15 to 20 minutes out, and then... Uh, We'll meet up with them and then we'll uh, we'll head back out. All right, guys, uh, we're on the road again. We finally met. We've met up with them, and uh, we're headed to Pigeon Forge right now. There's a got the 65 in front of us. Uh, the 64, he's he's back behind us somewhere, but uh, we're driving down the road. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we've made it. We've made it to the hotel room. We're waiting on uh, my wife and the rest of the kids to get here. Macy and I made it here safely with the other guys that uh, rode in with from Texas. Uh, you can see my truck out there. It's parked, ready to go. Um, but yeah, trip went safe, uh, went great. Everybody was safe, no issues whatsoever. So we're good to go, and um, I guess we're just going to relax and hang out for the night because the show doesn't start till 8 p.m. tomorrow. So we'll probably get in line about 7 just to make sure we get in and get a, get a good spot and uh, get our uh, awning set up so we don't sit out in the sun all day. And uh, But, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in the morning, and we'll uh, check out the show. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> all right, so it's the next morning. It's about, I don't know, let's see here. It is 6.43, uh, the guys I rode in with want to meet up at 7 here at the CVS. I'm a little bit early, I wanna clean up the truck a little bit, clean the glass, wipe down the interior, it's kinda dusty from driving, and uh, maybe wipe the wheels down, put some tire shine on here, just to put a little bit more lipstick on a pig. And uh, you know, and then uh, once we get rolling to the show, I will uh, start videoing and showing you guys the, the way into the Grand National F100 show. So. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, we're all met up. See everybody's over there. We fixed in a cruise on in there. I'm uh I'm gonna leave this on for you guys to see the cruise in. Give the sun shining in the view.
forgot my windshield mount for this, so I'm having to hold the camera. Yes, sir. Wherever you want, brother. Set up and we got our tent set up. Trucks are sitting here looking good. Kicks on today, breaking them in. Just trying to at least. So what's up everybody? Good morning. <laughs> Some pigeon forge That's right. 
but yeah uh we'll turn around and we'll uh we'll get a walk around video once they're all wait for all the trucks start getting here pulling in everything we're still kind of early so uh but yeah once everything gets really going i'll uh do a walk around video and show everybody the trucks all right welcome back to the channel it's uh friday now here at the show uh the trucks are pouring in man and this these are some beautiful trucks here so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna walk around and show you guys some of these trucks outside so Yeah, this is a uh, Friday, so uh, tonight they're gonna do a cruise. So I'm gonna get some videos of the cruise in for it's an hour long cruise, runs through Gatlin, Gatlinburg, and, uh, and stuff. And then uh, there's a uh, F100 takeover after dark, so I plan on going to that too. So. Beautiful trucks. Good, how are y'all? We're awesome. How about yourself? Doing pretty good. How are you? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to put you on my YouTube channel. Cool. So I'm going to put you on my U YouTube channel. Good, man. I, hey, hey. I made it three. You want to take my picture? Yeah, I'll take your picture. Hey, on. I'm filming. It's more It's more than just, just a picture. <laughs> y'all have a good, good one. This is a full frame swap truck too. Supposedly, I think it's between 900 and 1,000 that may be showing up today. So. With the winner getting 6,000 in cash is the best I've ever done, but who's to say this one's not going to be even bigger? Truck heaven here, guys. Truck heaven. That's a clean unibody. Coyote Swamp. Coyotes and everything nowadays.
still kind of early uh so there's gonna be they say being it's friday there's gonna be a lot more trucks showing up so uh i'm gonna let the inside get opened up and working <laughs> and uh, i'll take you inside and uh, uh show you all the beautiful trucks inside i was gonna do it yesterday just there's just so much going on i didn't get a chance to uh go inside or i got too excited and i didn't start filming anything so but making up may make it up for it today it's a three-day event there's gonna be trucks here all weekend center where they got all the trucks parked outside These are the car show guys. This is for my channel. Okay. And stuff, so. It's a beautiful truck. Yeah. Got the coyote. What year is this? 56. 56? Yep. Beautiful truck. Beautiful yeah, truck. It serves a dual purpose. It's a 56 and so am I. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's still got to do his interior. Yeah. So. Oh, it's still for, still nice looking. He's got. He says it's where old meets new because he's got all the toys on it. Right. Backup cameras. And oh, nice. Uh, nice. Power windows, air conditioning. Yeah. That's nice. I love it. Uh, those are the guys that gave me an inter interview on my truck called the Car Show Guys. You guys need to check out their channel. Subscribe to them so you can watch the interview with me. Pretty 
the blue. That's gorgeous. Everybody always needs a pole street. If you can't tell, the slick sides are my favorite. Oh, excuse me, sir. I was in here yesterday. There you are, Dad. Hey, I gotta get a video of you on this cart. All right, so I'm inside now. We'll uh, we'll get over here and get inside of the venue and show you guys around. All right, I'm walking in now. You guys are gonna love these trucks because I know I do. Say this, there are a lot more slicks here this year than I remember last year. Brick nose.
trucks in there, guys. This place is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna see if I can find me some parts for mine real quick. Uh, they went up on some of their prices, I guess, because they're getting on down to a limited quantity, so I guess it can wait. But show you some more of what's going on in here, some of these trucks. Oh, that's neat. these guys I need to get a window felt for my truck because it started to come apart and it's only a couple months old I'll catch you guys here in a second right, strike out on ports I didn't have what I needed uh, but yep we'll continue showing you guys some stuff fat man fabrications all your die cast cars and t-shirts need any belts walls they got you uh, we will be here tomorrow so it's a wonderful three-day event you guys need to come check it out next year because by the time i get this posted it'll uh, it'll be sometime next week but at least you guys get an idea of what's what's here at the show belt drives, accessory drives, custom mirrors, just all your custom stuff for your small block forward things. But yeah, this is awesome guys. I think I'm gonna find me something to eat. Catch you guys in a little bit.
Yeah, but that don't help me any. Just touch it. <laughs> I can't tell what I'm pointing when it does that. Smile, buddy, you're on camera. <laughs> oh, he wasn't very happy. No, he looks like he's mad because he's being held up. Yeah, I hope he wasn't going to a wedding. Right, because he's going to be late. been about a week uh, we got back Saturday uh, about Saturday afternoon we had to uh, uh, have the viewing and funeral that uh, Saturday and Sunday for uh, my uh, wife's grandfather so I didn't film when we got done or got back so but uh, you know as you can tell them the show went great I loved it it was absolutely awesome met some great people uh, shout out to you Jason and Mike you know you guys were awesome let me hang, hang out with you guys all week weekend uh, you guys got some awesome trucks I can't wait to see you guys again next year uh, and for all of you that have been following and watching and uh, you know I appreciate all the views all the comments uh, all the you know nice comments and stuff I get on the work I've been doing on this truck you know um, happy and thankful for everything you know if uh, you're not a subscriber please subscribe uh, I would love to get as many subscribers as possible um, and uh, you know I appreciate every single one of you guys but uh, yeah the show was great I had an absolute blast uh, I can't wait to do it again uh, maybe I'm gonna start filming we got a local show here um on the weekends and stuff that's like every friday night i actually went to it this past friday night and actually won cruiser of the week it's pretty awesome got a banner and some cleaning products and stuff i thought that was pretty neat um but yeah i try to go to it every friday night they're not having it this friday friday night the guy guy that throwing it says he's going out of town for vacation but he'll be back the following friday so but yeah uh i'll give you guys a little quick walk around of the truck of the little bit of work i did for the show you know we sprayed the bed make it look decent as you can tell i've got some uh been hauling some potting mix from a waff uh but yeah the truck did absolutely great no issues there or back so got a water bottle in there but hey this truck's absolutely awesome and uh oh big updates too uh almost forgot i really almost forgot uh, uh i've been ordering some stuff so i've got some other uh, uh parts coming for the truck i did find uh some long tubes uh, from stainless works so i've ordered a set of new long tubes for the truck went ahead and i ordered a set of cams so four six and this is going to get a little bit of bump bump and power this is going to be exciting i can't wait um got a set of cams for it they're already here uh, i did went ahead and i ordered a full QA1 suspension for this. We've got coilovers coming. The rear shocks, are, adjustable shocks are here. The front coilovers are not here. I've got a 3200 stall converter coming. Um, and we're gonna do 373s and limited slip in the back, back, back of this truck. So this truck's fixing to get a lot of performance options and stuff done to it. Uh, I went with the biggest street cam that I could get, street cams, cause it's, you know, overhead cam engine. Uh, but yeah, so look forward to uh, the new videos coming guys because it's, it's gonna get some uh, some power increase and then once all that's done We'll trailer this down to Moe's speed shop down in Georgia and uh, we'll get it dyno tuned uh, From Marty because Marty's the one that I got my tune from now that I've got and my tuner and uh, But yeah, it's gonna get Some good work done to it and it's gonna sound good and run good. So oh ho hoping to get a really good bit of uh, uh, power boost out of the new uh, new upgrade that's gonna get and uh, If you've noticed in this video, you might have seen the uh, the Chevy Tahoe that I got sitting in the background uh, So yeah, this is it This is a Tahoe I bought online same place. I get all all my other stuff. That's wrecked 
bought it to replace the wife's escalade that we drive now but uh this was hitting the front i went and bought i got a whole new front end for it the hood's laying right over there front bumpers over there crash bars over there you know all my stuff is over here um but as i was getting ready to put the new front end on you know i thought you know this was going to be just my damage and stuff but turned out the whole entire frame's bent so yeah so this is going to get a new frame under it i go next week to get it um so if you guys are interested in watching seeing this on the channel uh please leave a con comment that you want to watch the frame swap in this you know it's nothing special it's just going to get a you know cleaned up and redone frame put underneath it and uh you know and i'll build it for the wife and then we'll sell the escalade once this is done so but yeah thanks you guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe hit, 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 hit that notification bell and uh but yeah love you guys peace You better